guys, so this video is going to be a book review of Lesson Angels by Barbara Pym. I have previously on my channel done a book review of Jane and Prudence by Barbara Pym, which I'll leave up there and then down there as well. And I loved that book so much, so if you haven't watched my review, go watch it. I think it's good. <laughs> Lesson Angels is her fourth full-length novel to be published. It was published in 1955, and funnily enough, it's her fourth book of hers that I've read. I have accidentally read them in order but I think now I'm just going to carry on reading them in order because I'm absolutely loving them. This book starts with a kind of academic type party in which there's lots of different characters and we get introduced to all of them and then from then on they disperse and then each chapter kind of follows various characters from that party. In particular the main character is Catherine who lives in a flat and she shares that flat with a man called Tom who throughout the beginning of this book is constantly doing his thesis and Tom is a bit younger than Catherine and because this is 1955 their relationship is kind of like oh, scandalous everyone thinks that they're lovers and one day Catherine goes to a restaurant to pick up a bottle of wine that she likes and there she sees Tom holding hands with a young 19 year old woman called Deirdre and her heart just gets crushed oh and you feel so sorry for her and you instantly think that he's a bit of a poo head and that's all I'm gonna say because otherwise I'll spoil it for you and I don't want you to be spoiled I want you to read this for yourself and fall in love with it for yourself now I love this book I'm gonna be completely honest with you it is not as good as Excellent Women or Jane and Prudence because those books are just phenomenal and out of this world. If you haven't read them, you really should. But it is still really, really good. I gave it four out of five stars. What I love about this book is her writing. Barbara Pym's writing is brilliant. It is absolutely fantastic. She writes so beautifully. For me, she's somewhere in between an Agatha Christie for her simplicity and Jane Austen for her wit. And it is just absolutely glorious. This book, as with the other books I've read, I did have to limit myself on page numbers. I was allowed to read around the 100 page or just underneath a day, so I could have the luxury of reading this for three whole days. Although some passages I love so much, I did reread them. So I've kind of read this book almost twice over reading it. It is just a beautifully written book and I have nothing bad to say about her writing at all. I could just read her books all day long and I'm just, yeah, I'm so addicted to Barbara Pym and if you haven't read any, you should. The reason, if you're wondering why I gave it four star and not five, is simply because of the beginning chapters. There are so many characters I was just like, whoa, okay, who are you? I needed one of those like character lists at the beginning, you know, when you have those in some types of books. I just needed one of those because I was just like okay who are you who are you who are you and in various chapters it took me quite a while to work out who's with who and who's friends with who and who's in whose family blah 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 but once I got into it I absolutely loved it and I'm sure next time I reread it I'll appreciate it a lot more because I'll know who everybody is and I do want to reread it now but I'm reading something else so I can't. <laughs> so that's my review of Less Than Angels by Barbara Pym. I hope you're enticed by the plot and you want to know what happens with Catherine and Tom and their kind of love triangle with Deirdre along with all the other um, characters that go along too because they're very interesting. It's a very interesting book. It's got quite a lot of characters to it. If you are interested in getting the book there is a, a link in the description box and it'll take you straight to the book to Street. And if you haven't actually read anything by Barbara Pym before but you're kind of thinking Oh, I might check her out, please do. She's a fantastic author and you'll absolutely love her. Fingers crossed, I do. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm just gonna snuggle up in bed and read a good book, as is my usual afternoon. So take care everybody and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye.